All right, so you want to create a custom team, maybe an FCS, HBCU, maybe a fantasy team. All right, and that's cool, you know. I can help you with that. But first, I have to credit all the help and support I've gotten just to get me to this point, all right? I also have to tell you what tools you'll need to set yourself up for success the same way I did when creating a team of my own. So to start off this video, I want to thank YD, Tucker, King Supreme, Iron Ding Dong, 2K5 Master, How, Operation Sports, and uh, whoever else is the creators of the editor's tools uh, we are going to be using today. Uh, and just the revamp team in general. So yeah, thank y'all. Y'all go to... Uh, from day one, from answering questions all the way down to the people who create tools. Appreciate you. Uh, the community thanks you. So now, to get started, I'm going to tell you what tools you need to create your team. Um, and to start off, I'm going to tell you right now that the AST editor is the heart of everything. You can't do it without it. Follow these Discord links. And download links in my description below to access you know and get what you need if you don't already have it because it's very important um, to get this folder here which contains many many uh, tools and resources um, you want to go to discord and follow this link the editor tools link here and you'll get this exact folder from uh, how or it says username is like everyone or something like that so that's a plus um what else what else do we need we need this uh uniform viewer we need that i mean everything on here you already know you, you see this but the intel texture works dds very important because uh you won't be able to save dds files without that plugin dds files are what we use to edit the jerseys with the pants the helmets pretty much everything you got to save in dxt1 or dxt5 here's a little chart like a little you know list of what you need to save it save your files as um and i'll show you that when we get to that paint.net it's goat okay it is free um and it goes hand in hand with how i edit my jerseys and pants socks all that it just it's 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 a beast um and it's free so there's also other workarounds other than Photoshop um, like photo P and gimp those are relatively used um, so I would look those up if I were you anything that can open up a PSD file you'll want to use so but I'm using Photoshop for this and paint that all right so I can't really help you um, with those but they have similar tools so you should you know it should be just fine um, and lastly you need to have YD's Nike Nike Vapor Untouchable Template. Um, that'll be in the description as well as you've seen. And you need the FE2IG Organized Excel Sheet. All right, so our Excel Sheet is loading in. The uh, FE2IG Organized you know, Excel Sheet is a library directory. It's taking a minute to load up. There we go, we are in. And it tells you the locations of you know specific things such as your jerseys helmets you know I mean pants and all that this is important obviously if you want to create your own team so um diving right in i'm picking boston to replace as a team they're at the top it makes it easier for me to you know do for a tutorial so um i'm going to open up my ast editor and you should be too let me this over a little bit and we're going to extract um, 1042 from the FE2IG. To get to this, you should have your blues folder open, right? Um, you should know how to get there by now. And you want to open up your FE2IG. Boom, right? And then, so, all right, so 1042. And this is for me, whatever team y'all are replacing, just make sure y'all do, you know, this basically. So we're extracting it to, I got folders named new exports, new imports and processing. This is pretty organized for me. Y'all might find a better way for you, but I'm extracting my files to them depending on the situation. So I'm exporting out, so I'm putting in my new exports. That's that. Um, 
we're gonna go over to the helmets. Um, same thing, 1615. I don't know if I mentioned that um, you will have a backup at some point, so don't worry. The stuff you're extracting isn't being pulled out the game as a one single file. It's basically being copied and put into your computer from the game. All this is still inside of the FE2IG. So you have nothing to worry about at the moment. Um, and then I shouldn't babysit y'all anymore and just fast forward through this extracting part. Now the mix match files. I stop here so I can show you all that this is important to extract as well. You need to extract the team that you're replacing and if you are working on a team, the team that you're replacing has a, a different brand than you. So you know they're gonna have Under Armour gloves if you need Nike or something like that. What you wanna do is go to a team that you know has Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, or Jordan and extract their mix match as well. So you're extracting two. If you, like I said, if the team you are replacing has a different brand than the one that you are putting in, extract two, okay? If you understand what I'm saying there. So I'm extracting Air Force because they have Nike, but I'm replacing Boston and they have Under Armour. You see what I'm getting at? Okay. So I'm, I'm getting Air Forces 2. So they are 3247. Extract to exports. And I also need Boston's. Like I said, Boston has Under Armour. I need Nike gloves. 3259. exports okay so those are mixed match files i'll show you what those look like on the inside in a minute and that should be everything we need at the moment cool so we're going to close our ast editor all right now that those are extracted oh da, 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 da. we need the interface sorry so we need the team logo extracted as well so to do that you need to go to qkl interface through the ast editor load it up all right it's going to be file 141 You're gonna extract that to export. Okay. Um, mm, and then we're gonna open up that 141, okay? Open that up. And then we're gonna scroll. This is where your, all your logos are. You're gonna scroll down to where you find the team that you're replacing's logo. And you're gonna extract that as well to export. Okay. Boom, now we can close out. All right, so we got all that done. The first thing I guess, after all that, is to create the team logo. So um, this should open up in paint.net for me. I don't know what it's gonna open up in for you, but it's just easier. It's a small, little cute little interface for me to work in. Photoshop's a little bit bigger. So I just use this for my uh, icons and stuff. If you know what you're doing in Photoshop, you know, keep doing what you're doing. But this is for people who need to use paint.net, all right? So I'm going to erase this logo. Unless you plan on keeping and editing the logo you did, I mean, you did, you extracted from uh, from the game, like this Boston one, um, then erase it because you need the space for the custom one you're about to put in. Um, if you watched my YouTube videos before, I like what, customized a Kansas one and made it green or something like that. That was just by doing this and basically I just, I just changed the color, that was all. Um, but here we are replacing that logo and we're putting the PlayStation on there. Okay. Um, in fact, wait a minute, wait a minute. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. If you're going to put your PNG in there for a custom logo, make sure you put it in as a layer. I put open. Okay. That's my fault. Um, cause it just messed the whole video up. All right. And then what you want to do get it in there do do whatever you want to do to it as far as editing it i'm fine with it being blue it's the playstation team i'm going to click save and it's going to pop up as this you can click direct draw surface down at the bottom and we're going to put it in our imports folder we're not going to overwrite that old icon 
like so. Save as DXT5, okay? Flatten it because it had two layers, so it needs flattened. And now it is saved. You can, hey, do not close out this window. Um, I'll tell you why, because it's smart to leave it open uh, because you can back out of your project. You can undo the stuff you've done to your project in this history tab and stuff. Um, okay, if you if you saved it and close it, it's just gonna complete itself, and then when you open back up, you can't go back. Say your uh, icon was cricket or something like that, you won't be able to fix it up. Okay, so just leave that open like that. Same thing goes for the future things we'll be editing in that. Um, so that's the icon, and now on the logo. So now we will work on the jerseys. All right. So we're gonna go to YD's Vapor Untouchable Template. Okay, and what we will do, uh, excuse me, sorry, back hurt. Um, we were going, we gonna go to Uniform Smart. Okay, open that up. Alright, so here is the jersey. Alright, this is where everything goes down. Now, if you have Photo P or GIMP, you can do this and do what I'm about to do in there too. Um, as long as you can open up a PSD file, um, this thing has layers to it, okay? So, I'm going to click into this gray thing down here and it opens it up. Boom. Alright, down at the bottom is jersey color to the top. So, I, I work from bottom to the top, alright? Uh, you click on this and you can change the jersey color through the palette or you can type in a hex color code um, that you have for your team whether it's a uh, you know a uh, real team that you're mimicking or whatever like you know you can you know do what you do but either way I'm making my mind white now you got the important sleeves and the less important sleeves all right um, the important sleeves are these ones right here all right, and these are the less important sleeves. These show up in Uniform Viewer and Blender. These do not. These don't show up in the game. These do. Um, okay. Now, the, essentially, they are the same thing, but this is just if you don't have Uniform Blender, I'm assuming, it's to show you, you know what I mean, um, what it would look, if it's even, I guess. Get Uniform Blender. It makes it less work for you because you don't have to colorize the less important sleeves. Okay. And I'm not going to touch them. Um, so right here, just under important sleeve stripes, you'll see these. You click into it with the gray. If you like this tiger stripe style, you can color it with your paint bucket after you rasterize it and all that. But there's more in here if you keep clicking the gray. Okay. And voila, there are more stripes. Um, all you have to do is make it so the current one isn't visible. And keep clicking, you know, on these you know different stripes and if you find one that you like like so I'm digging this then you drag it to the top drag it to the top um, and now you can rasterize it because it's not buried under the layers so I'm gonna grab my I already got my paint bucket click the the stripe it's gonna ask you to rasterize it you click OK alright so I'm going to make boom 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 like so and make sure this is the white that I want. All right. And then I'm going to exit out of there when I'm finished. Same thing with you. And you're going to click save. All right. Same thing. And boom. You see it changed. You, you just got to keep backing out of that. Clicking save. And then boom. Um, like I said, I'm not going to touch this because it has no benefit towards me, towards my uniform creation. You can play around with it. You can test my theory, but I'm telling you, I have not seen it be important. That's why they named it uh, less important. All right, so that's the sleeves. Um, changing the Nike sign. You want to turn the eyes off on hue and exposure. Leave it on for layer one. The reason why I did that is because when you try to change the color, for layer one with those eyes on it what it won't pop up um, because of something with the hue and exposure whatever I don't know but I don't need it um, 
we want to right click on that come up here hit blending options all right click color overlay um, the you want to click the checks my bad and then you want to click the actual color, color overlay button and then for me I'm, it's already blue because I already been here messing with it for you it might be a different color um, blend mode that's up to you who is experimenting you know what I mean but I'm gonna keep mine blue and normal uh, which works just fine for me back out click save boom okay um, and then for the collar like I said that's just pretty simple I'm gonna put my code in that I gotta save boom um, sleeve cap same thing boom okay real clean like um what what I don't like the, the okay yeah the color pattern their little red pink bush right there um to get rid of that I click effects and it's gone um, the color pattern here if you click that it should it should change hold on okay hold on huh huh okay that's interesting I don't know about that I think that's with the jersey that changes with the jersey so that color overlay that, that color overlay you know I ain't, I ain't gonna stress about it that's something I'm not gonna fool around with I'm cool with that um, y'all can play with that if y'all want to <laughs> okay so so you can put a logo you could put the team name on the front of the jersey uh, but you can't put uh, the jersey number or like a last name on the back of the jersey those are separate files, so don't do that. It's going to make the jersey ugly. So for me, I'm going to add the team logo in there. Uh, and I'm, let's see, I'm going to change this to white so it doesn't look crazy on the jersey. That's blue. All right. Save that. See, that's why I just like a little, little paint.net. It just, you know, it does what you need to do real quick and efficient. Little small, cute little thing. All right. So I'm going to, I zoomed in. going to drag this baby in now you know you know didn't I just change your ass to white mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let me guess this is the one that's inside of of course it is okay my bad confused myself here get out the way all right I thought it was one of my desktop Okay, so I'm just shrinking it down, shrinking it down, and voila, I got a logo on my jersey. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out for y'all, and boom, don't look too bad. Okay, so PlayStation jerseys are complete now. To save it, to save it, you want to click save a copy, right? You want to go to your new imports folder. It'd be smart for you to like pin it or just make sure it pops up over here by using it frequently. I would change the jersey name. So I'm changing mine to PS5J for the jersey. Alright. Make sure you go down here and click Intel Texture Works. So that's a DDS, okay? Um, because you can't you can't it won't the game won't read it. It won't work right if you don't have it as a DVS. So that's that. Um, and make sure you save it as a DTX 5, if I'm not mistaken. DTX 5. Okay. I'm going to double check that. Yeah, DTX 5 for the jerseys. Color jerseys. Okay, so boom. I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to leave this open because what I found is that if you want to go back and revise something, you should leave this open because it has the layers and stuff if you was to close it and open back up and it'd just be this you wouldn't have, it wouldn't be uh like a psd with layers i don't explain it it just wouldn't be yd stuff so just leave it open just in case you need to fix it um and i need to open up the pants for us so same thing do pants psd right boom pants psd all right so they're yellow mm -mm. we don't want that 
I need white. But if you do, that's fine. If you want it any other color, you can click that yellow box, play around with this, and there you go. You know what I mean? Change it. You know, you could do that. For me, I'm gonna make that disappear. Make that black one disappear, and I got white. No extra work needed. Um, and then for the stripes, which are here, these two vector smart object, clicking into it. There's two options. Um, I'm gonna go for this one. Move to the top because I like it. You can create your own stripes that look pretty simple to make actually, but I never attempted to. Um, I'm gonna rasterize this in a second. Get my paint bucket like I just did. I'm going to paint my lines. Real simple, okay? Just like the jerseys, click yes as you back out and it saves it. Do the same thing with the other one. Real quick and efficient. Um, I don't even remember what the hell. I think it was yeah, like that in white. Cool. Boom, all right. Okay, we got looking spiffy. All right, the Nike sign right here. And all you gotta do, this is a little bit easier than the jersey is, you know, switch the color. Now, um, with Adidas, the Adidas template, I've never worked on that. I'm not like Adidas, I don't make Adidas jerseys like that. Um, but I'm sure it's the same way, all right? Just follow, just read. That's all you gotta do is just read, all right? <laughs> it's simple. Um, Under Armour, on the other hand, he doesn't have a template that I know of. So what you wanna do is extract a team's jerseys and pants that um, are, you know, Under Armour and work on that. If you don't wanna do that, you can always erase the Nike sign here and just slap a Under Armour sign on top of it with a PNG from Google, you know? No big deal. Uh, but right now, this is what we got going on. Same thing with uh, Photo Pen Gimp, I'm sure. Um, so either way, I'm about to say this. Save a copy. Um, pretty sure this is, excuse me. I'm pretty sure this is DXT1, pants color DXT1, yes. Um, sorry about that. Save a copy. Um, go to your imports. Come on, mate. And then I'm just gonna type in PS5P for the pan, switch this to Intel, and save. So we got our pants now, we got our logo now, and we have our jersey now, okay. Had it saved, leave that B, okay. So now we need helmets, correct? We need helmets. We gotta export it. So we're gonna open up our AST editor. And we are going, I'm already in my new exports folder. I believe it's 1615 for me. And it is, okay. So I'm going to extract their gold helmet to my, um, why not put it back in the exports? Boom. I'm going to extract their riddle. This is their bumper sticker, bumper thing. <laughs> uh, and put it in the exports as well. Boom. Uh, you can close that open up the exports and for me like i said it's going to open up my uh it's going to open up open it up in paint.net which is 100 percent fine for me um so to change this is the helmet it's gold this is the bumper these png things are stickers um to work around the stickers you want to click the magic wand and change the tolerance from 50 for for sure change it from 50 and you can zoom in to get a good look just so that you don't end up clipping something too much you know it it can get a little it don't have to be perfect but you know whatever works for you um, same thing with the stickers mm. the stickers tend to show up fine though uh, at about between like 48 and 34 you know it's completely up to you um, they don't gotta be perfect. You could always fix the stickers if there is a problem, but they tend to just show up. So, um, I'm going to change this helmet to white, okay? Boom. I hit the backspace. Uh, when you hit the backspace, the primary top left box here will, um, color fill, okay? So that's the color that it will change to. 
if you need to change your color my bad I didn't mean to do that if you need to change your color you just go here put your color code in or just you know figure it out with do what you gotta do um, but that is how you color helmets you can add a stripe yeah I'm gonna show you what I was working on this tiger helmet um, you can use the magic wand it's, I'm trying to tell you you can do this in Photoshop as well but like it's so much better in this um, use the magic wand and mess with the tolerance once you figure out if that's good enough for you you click copy I'm gonna go to the helmet we're working on right now and hit paste and as you can see if I kept doing that I would get this helmet's design on here effortless, effortlessly um, so you can do the same thing with stripes um, stripes look weird they tend to curve like this they look so strange um, but you know you could do it like that and copy it and put it on there so um, yeah. yeah 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 so that's that uh, I'm not gonna say that on there and yeah so the helmet is now white and we need to save it so it should actually it's already a D it's already so I'm just gonna hit the save button and yep deep XT5 boom okay so just gonna minimize it don't exit out as you can see it's here now uh, I'm just gonna make a copy of it put it in the imports paste okay and um, I'm going to just change this back really change that back save it I don't think it's gonna touch the other one let's see nope we're still good here all right um and then same thing with the this one now for this you can do a lot like I said you can do a lot with this stuff do a lot make sure I got the right white I'm just gonna paint over this Eagles because we're not the Eagles we're the PlayStation 5s <laughs> um, and then I'm going to bring my PNG up on here add a layer like I said don't hit open add a layer hold shift in the corner here if you want to drag without messing up the aspect ratio and boom I'm just gonna slap that in there that's going on the bumper all right and then for the color of the ACC I'm going to um, paste my code in that's no longer there okay I'm just gonna steal this color um, and then I'm gonna paint it in there oh wait let me hit enter if you got those if you got those dotted lines on there and it doesn't go away make sure you hit enter oh god damn oh I'm sorry I'm working on the layer right now make sure you go back if you if you post if you have two layers make sure you click on the whichever one you want to currently work on right now I'm working on the background one so boom now I can and voila okay I guess I'll make this line blue too why the hell not so um, that is that I'm gonna click save as really because you want to keep the other one just cuz um, and then I'm going to put it in the new imports and I'm going to ch -ch -ch -ch, direct draw surface and you can keep the name it doesn't matter or you can change it it is also this is a DXT1 actually Let's flatten it save boom to change face mask color chin strap color and riddle bumper you're going to extract the RSF. I already got mine down there. You just extract this one here. It says RSF. X out of this. To open it and edit it, what you'll need out of this folder here that you you should have on your desktop um, is Hex Editor, okay? Use that application. I've got mine on my, uh, what you call it? Bombar. All right, so you can just drag it and drop, drag and drop the RSF in here, and boom. Opens up, and it looks like a bunch of hieroglyphics. All right, um, usually to search stuff up, you could just, you know, hit find and type in base color or face mask and, you know, find what you need to find, okay? Me, I, I tend to just scroll all the way down because I know where it's at. And you'll see here, it'll say dot .matl or just matl face mask underscore material, okay? M-A-T. Um, and usually base color, just beneath it, you'll or next to it, you'll find uh, the symbols um that that where your color values will go okay so here's here's what's crazy 
there's two different ways to change your face mask color one is to divide each rgb file so that's, that's three of them file sorry each rgb value um that you get from say paint mat boom and you see how we got this so you would divide it by 255 and then you would round it by something <laughs> And then you would do, like, look, I'm telling you, it's, it's too much. Just go to Discord. You can read all about it. I'm good. The other way to do it, which I do, a sane person, is to go and steal other face mask colors from their RSF files. So I've already done some of that, and I'm going to give, uh, um, uh, whatchamacallit, sorry, Boston, uh, a white face mask for my PlayStation team. So um, these, let's see, this, it's 12, 12 digits 12 digits um so starting after the, the little dot here you're gonna you're gonna start at the question mark yours yours might not be the same but what i'm saying is after base color usually you, you go after the dot and the next little symbol or number or whatever that's there you highlight it and count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it should be twelve and it's good because it stopped it from the bull bull's important um you don't want to uh, you know erase that so the, the the symbol for bull that stands for bull is 62 uh, or the B I mean I don't know y'all listen I just I just know that usually I highlight 12 of them I paste and boom um, you know my value is now changed and then I get the face mask color I want all I do have which I'm about to pull up for you uh, at the moment is white navy uh, black and that's about it okay so I stole these from other comments and y'all should do the same so this is 12 digits this is what this is white right here okay and what I'm gonna do is paste it over top here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve don't move too fast just like I said I am still pacing myself with this tutorial so just wait and i got you all right so I'm, you paste an insert and boom it'll be red it looks bad but it's, it's not bad it's just telling you that you're doing something to it all right and the symbols here will change and like i said it stops in front of bull um and it starts just right after that last dot there so like i said it's not going to be the exact same for your helmet rsf some of the symbols might be different in numbers because your team's face mask color in general it's just different but like you, you don't edit anything over here you just use that to figure out where your values start over here so as you see you you know you highlight that and it's like oh okay i start there that's, that's just what i did then i come over here highlight 12 out you know boom same thing you can you can do it up here too like if say your rsf had your thing starting up here you would go here to 12 but like only if you know this tells you you can i really don't know how to explain this the best way i just know that common sense should tell you what you know what to do in the situation if you have any questions go to the comments because this shit is hieroglyphics and the way i figured it out was just i was just like hell i'm just about to try it and it worked for me um so yeah uh getting these values though you got to use some type of generator tool online like i said just steal face mask colors that's the best way to go either way this is it we're done with this so you can just click save um and then you'll end up loading that rsf back into that helmet file you the ast file so yours you know boot it up open it and then you would just the same one you just saved plug it back in and you'd find that your face mask color has changed um let's see as far as the chin straps and stuff <coughs> like i said you'll look for another one and they all start with matl they all start with matl so you're going to want to either search it in here or you'll come across it real real quickly um usually it's uh like under this mod color i'll look for it hold on usually it's under uh like helmet accessories or you know chin just type in chin okay it's not uh forward so it's backward matl chin straps matte you see what i'm saying boom 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 um and 
something and just be mod color or base color one of the two you just gotta oh, there he is and you just gotta look okay and you see it starts after the zero zeros are important that's usually what indicates you're in the right spot and then you're gonna count to 12 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i'm gonna paste my value boom and now that chin this is this is the, this is either the chin cover or the chin strip this is the chin strap all right and there's also a chin cover you just gotta look out for that as well like i said just type this stuff in search it you will find it um uh what is that what is this accessories yada 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 this should be it as well i'm just gonna change this to so mod color you see here you'll get used to it figuring out what to do playing around with this just be careful save the old color value and put it in like some type of library i will make a library for y'all if y'all want me to um because i need more face mask colors but it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve stops at a zero and it like i said it don't necessarily always stop at a zero it might stop next to a number but usually if it starts after zeros then you know you're in the right spot which is if you look over to the right my color which dot and then boom so that's that i'm gonna paste insert and we will see what we come up with when you're done save and put the rsf inside of the import folder and we'll import that with the rest of the stuff all right and that is it for that okay so i'm gonna check this um we still need the xml okay so bringing up the xml's uh, we're gonna open up both of these. These are the ones from the beginning of the you know the tutorial And I was saying That if you have an, a team that's under armor that you want to replace with the Nike team Well, you're gonna want their gear, right? So this is this is Boston's and this is Air Forces, right? So I'm gonna scroll all the way. This is a map right here. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to gloves Just to take it shoes. Don't worry about there's a different way to do that um, but gloves you have to because the revamp put these in the game um, like so. so it's a little bit different process so what I'm gonna do is go to the part here over the Nike vapor jet highlight it and I'm going to come on down and copy it I'm gonna copy it then I'm gonna go to the team that I'm replacing go all the way down to their gloves all right I'm going to go over there and replace it. Hit paste. I should explain this part better for sure. Um, just on this left side here, home and away. That's fine. Underneath that, the official name, uh, alt number one, number three, and number five. Delete those. Um, and make it look like what's on this right side of the screen here. So it just says home and away um, Because that those are uniform combinations uh, Specific to Air Force or specific to any the, the team that you're stealing those gloves from um, You just want the, the game to know um, How to read this stuff without getting confused because it it will um, cause your game to freeze at the uniform picker if you don't delete those they would be looking for combination one three and five and you don't have it or a combination you know two whatever 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 if you don't have it the computer's going huh and it's going to freeze um so uh, whenever you're stealing stuff from other teams make sure you don't have a uniform combination thing in there uh, just in case i'm not saying your team won't have one through five or whatever but you know just make it like that so you don't have to worry about the freezing you won't lose data it's not going to corrupt any files if you forget and it freezes just backtrack and you'll be all right all right all right let's move on all right the teams that you're replacing put it in your new imports folder the one that you use to steal their brand from leave in the export folder okay so for me um for me it was three two five nine like i said just double check whenever you do something usually just pay attention it's, it's not hard to get sidetracked 
um and that should be about it so now the last thing i have to do is uh import the files and the new imports into these asts so we can put them back in the game all right so what i'm going to do is just move this over here uh get my new imports thing over here and we are going to open up the ast editor right and then um all right so my new exports are already open and then i'm going to start with the icon the logo so open up your 141 left inside your export and scroll down to your team that you are replacing icon all right so i'm going to click replace and then i'm going to go to new imports and make sure that the um the dds type is correct the width and height can change a bit when you import this stuff but the uh make sure the dds type is the same so uh this is our logo which is white it's supposed to be blue sorry i left mine on my desktop that's painful is it not a png of course not we could do white i ain't tripping for tutorial purposes whatever Apparently that was a PNG and not a DDS, my bad. All right, so as you see, it's a DXT5, it's a DDS, it works. You can highlight this bad boy, just because rename it, like typing out the name is TDS, so I just copy that, click save as, and then I go to new imports, um, and I hit paste, and I save. That is done. Every time after you save, you want to close out of it, um, because there's a bug or something that'll make it freeze the game freeze um, if you try to open up multiple AST editors and then like save and then keep working in the same one it's okay to open up multiple what I'm saying is make sure you close the window um, it's more thoroughly explained in a discord and I haven't had that much trouble with it but you can honestly it annoys the shit out of me when it freezes and I know I put everything where it needs to be but then I don't know, just, you know, just dumb. But anyway, the next one, they're like, so I don't have to, you know, babysit you on this one. Oh my God. I forgot. That's cool. Uh, while we're here, if, if you're here on this step, just extract the numbers to the desktop and the name decal. Numbers and name, extract. All right. If you're in this spot, because this is what I was telling you about. Um,. As far as it's in a different, the names and the numbers are in different locations. You don't have to edit them in Photoshop, okay? So all we're going to do is uh, just minimize these, and we're going to change the numbers for the team you are replacing to the team colors you need them to be. Super simple. You just click on them, open them up in your Paint.net or Photoshop. It shouldn't deter you from the process you were in at the moment, so you should be fine. All right. Um, I'm just gonna just click on them like that, like. All right, so we got that one. Save it as well. Um, hmm, that should be the XD5 as well. I'm gonna double check that. Um, yes, they are both the XT5, 100%. So. All right, so we just get back to where we were by uh, boom and boom, like nothing ever happened. Um, hopefully you are not lost. I'll minimize this real quick. And what we are going to do is replace these as well. So just like we was, they're still on the desktop. desktop. This is the numbers. So replace the numbers, replace the name. And now your jersey colors and name colors are changed, okay? Um, let's see. And then down here at the bottom, call color. It's going to replace. Um, that's in your new imports. That is your jersey, okay? Boom. All right. And it's now in. And now we're going to go ahead and save as that file name right there and put it inside of our uh, new import folder, okay? And we're going to do that with pretty much everything else that we're importing. 
going to fast forward a bit because this is all pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, forgot to mention. Um, plug in your RSF now here. If you did extract it and edit the face mask, chin strap, or whatever, this is where you plug it back in. I forgot to mention that in the, the main base video. So here I am now as an afterthought. All right, make sure you plug it in and then continue with the steps. And then you want to are you are already put that in there cool so at the moment I think we should be solid um, we should be solid so at the moment all we have to do is close this uh, open up the interface so we can put the icon team logo back in the game so QPL interface 141 Place it. Um, new imports. One four one. Boom. Okay, so that's interface. Save as. So your user directory. Um, click it just to get the name, and then click you know type in like new, whatever works for you. You know. Uh, it's saving. All right, just give it a little bit just to be safe, you know what I mean? Then exit out of it, whatever. And then again, open it up. Open up FB2IG. Let it load up. All right, so then we are going to replace every single one of those except for one for one, obviously. Save this in the directory. I'm burnt, y'all. I'm dying. All right, and slap a one in front of it. Okay. Let it save. So that is saved. You can close out of that. Okay, so moving on to field creation and importing, and also uh, team colorway changes. I guess that's to say team color change. Um, so for this, you'll we should start off with we'll start off with the fields. Uh, the other thing will take a little bit longer. Uh, fields. So what you're going to need, I'll put this in the link in the. I'll make this a link in the description as well. You want you're gonna to want to go to community creations. Uh, if you don't follow my link, and you're gonna to want to go to the pinned messages, and this is in the college football revamp Discord. All right, so the, a guy named Rob made field templates. You can download them, and uh, what I did is just you know edit the ones he gave us you know for my own purposes. Um, so what you're going to do here. That's once you download it. Let's see. I don't even. Let's see. Once you download it, I mean, you can use Photoshop or you can use uh, uh, Paint.net. I used. Uh, where you at? I use Paint.net, obviously. I mean, how many times I got to say that? I'm going to use Photoshop for real for YD's, uh, you know, templates. For real, for real. Um, but. I, I, I extracted a couple ones they blank so I'm just going to use actually I already got one in paint.net but you know you go inside of his stuff and basically you're going to come across something like this but if you op open up in Photoshop it's going to be a little different 
because it's gonna have layers um you just make, use the eye to make things visible and invisible so you know you're liking but for me I, you know I got my blank one and so what I do here is yeah, you know make my tolerance lesser than 50 um, actually see if I get my had to hit 50 okay um, and what I'm gonna do is you know color fill so I got my team color and boom you know I make the end zone blue same thing here backspace boom it's blue uh, team sideline blue and I believe the uh, the opposition's uh, sideline you know whatever the color that is um, and then so just to put logos on here you just drop a PNG like it's nothing um, you just drag it and drop it from wherever add layer uh, you know you can move it that's why I love this and that looks like a decent size and a decent location to drop it at it looks good to me um, push enter and boom you there so um, Rob in that folder you're gonna download from him he also has fonts um, and pull that up for you and what you have to do is import them into Photoshop and paint.net that is something you can easily type type up on Google I don't quite remember it step by step but to get it into your your software you have to just import it into their folders and like you're like uh, computer thing uh, what's it called ah uh, like computer C user thing I don't know but either way just google it super simple um, so what I was gonna do show you guys the fonts he has five of them and I think I'm gonna go for the athletic one real quick um, so I'm gonna hit text boom and my athletic is already there because I'll be using it and I'm just gonna type in Sony uh, make sure your color is different from different okay I'm gonna type in Sony here and you know just make that look a little lined up there enter oh, you don't have to hit enter and then you go to image rotate 180 just so that you can type on the other side of the end zone simply and there you go so we got our end zones looking all right here and uh let's see Sometimes people have conference logos at the in between uh, at the what the, would that be the 15 at the 15. So honestly, I'm gonna rotate the image 90 and I'm gonna put that thing. Let me see. I'm going to uh, what color is it? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I used to do this for myself. Let me see. Yes, sir. Was that you? That is you. Cool. I was just changing this PlayStation sign to be white here. Boom. Add layer. And what we're going to do. We're going to hold shift and pull this diagonal thing to, to shrink it. There you go. I feel like that does not look good. I would have had to make that PlayStation sign turn. That's what I mean. Um, <laughs> like, oh, damn. Y'all get what I'm saying, though. So I'm just going to turn that because that looks like trash. <laughs> that look like hot garbage, boy. You know, and then you can easily. Let me, let me copy this. Rotate. Uh, counterclockwise oh rotate 180 and boom and then I'm gonna paste that thing and then. but y'all get what I'm saying all you gotta do is drop a PNG logo thing and boom you got yourself conference you know what I mean whatever so just logos you know what I mean just that's how you do it nothing to it for real why does that look different? It looks weird. Um, okay. And boom. That is my PlayStation field that we are, I am going to import in the game for y'all for this tutorial. So I'm just going to. I'm. Uh, okay. Sorry. 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 Uh, you want to hit save as. Uh, a DDS. Okay. Put it in your imports folder. Um, and change the name to whatever you want. I already did it before. It's down here. Save. Ready to go. So I'm not going to save it. 
Um, yeah, so the next step to that is to open up the organized Excel sheet you got. Go to fields, boom, already there, and find the one that you need to replace for the team that you're replacing. Uh, for me, it's Boston, again. So I open up the AST editor. And then we open up a FE, you know, 2IG. <coughs> Loads up. And so I find it, it was 273, I believe. I'm double check it, man. I got short term memory loss. Okay. 273, cool. All right, so you extract it, put in your exports or desktop. Doesn't matter to me anymore. <laughs> um, I'm gonna close out of that. Just in case, I'm gonna close out just to be careful. This should be acting janky. I've had it messed up on me multiple times in this tutorial, so I'm cool on that. Um, all right, so then you'll open up and you'll see your the field you're replacing, and it's p3r type and it's the call file here okay so we're just gonna right click it replace go to wherever you put your field open it it's not the same okay that is a dds what are you talking about bro oh, oh shit i don't even know what just happened hold on what the hell what the f oh hold on. my bad my bad my bad i'm gonna reopen this bruh what was that? Sorry, open up a two seven three. What is that called? Not at the top. Did I just swap them? I don't know. Try to avoid to do doing what I just did. I don't know how I just swapped that. Either way, again, replace, open. It should pop up in a second, and boom, there is your custom field. Um, and then of course you want to save it if that looks good to you. Make sure it's DXT one. The heights should probably match too. Save as yeah, yeah. I already got mine saved. I've done it earlier. Um, you save it in your imports folder. You should be good. All right. So importing it back in. Of course. After you close the ASC, you want to open up another one. Go to your user directory. Open up FE2IG. Yada yada yada. And you want to put the 273 back in. Do I really have to? I don't really have to show you all this. I'm probably wasting a lot of time. Oh, I keep doing this. Y'all know what to do, man. Plug it back in. Fe2ig. Okay. Um. Next. Okay. So lastly, we've got team relocation, team recolor, and team rebrand. All right. Um. And we do all that with EADB Editor. That tool is also inside of your editor's uh, folder that you should have. All right. First, before you open that up, I would find my way into my uh, roster save data file for, for for me rpcs3 allows me to you know go into my folder setup like this then i get into save data and then i'm able to access my roster um you on the other hand if you're using ps3 it's a little bit different but you still need to get to your save data get to your roster so you'll see your user data here you'll want to rename it dot mc02 okay i just use capitals i'm not sure if it matters um but just go for that all right so we're gonna we're just gonna minimize this uh access your eadb editor okay um and then you're gonna load a config in that same folder you should have zan's config okay mine's set up differently because that's just uh, how my folder is set up and i have custom configs so it might look a little bit different from um yours uh but we're still looking for the same values so when this loads up i'll show you what i'm talking about
Okay, so now we are in. Once you get in there, you want to hit teams up. You want to find the team that you're replacing with your team. So, Boston, right? So, you just click, double click on that, right? Highlight or whatever. And you change it to the ID, the identity that you want to change it to. So, for me, it should be Sony. Oops, I'm going to do capitals. You know what I'm saying? Let's do Sony. And, for, you know, you get the idea. You just rebranding your team but ea db editor is how to do it okay and we're just gonna put playstation okay same thing okay short name <laughs> goofy man i'll be doing some silly stuff so anyway um whenever you you're editing here you don't want to use the scrolly like this when you're uh, clicked into something instead just use this uh, because it allows for less bugs like uh, like mess ups like you'll be scrolling with this and it'll drag PlayStation down on top of say Central Michigan's information and you get lost um, so just use these instead of the wheel on your mouse um, and as you can see mine is probably a little, a little more organized than yours you can always drag it and move it to get closer but this is where you change your rgb uh team color values okay so uh tbcr tbcg tbcb um rgb you see this is your primary colors these are your secondary colors okay all right so what you're going to do as far as the values go is get your get your values in order you can open up paint.net you can Wherever you can get your RGB values, I know my code um, 80, right? So for me, it's 00128. All right, that's my color blue, um, RGB. And you're going to plug those values into the EADB editor. Um, well, yours specifically. So I want to put 0, 0, 1, 2, 8. And my, I'm going to make my secondary color that blue as well you don't have to you can get two different color values red and gold or whatever but as long as one is your primary one is your secondary that's going to apply to your team as far as uh your fans and your equipment so like you know you can have a shoe the primary color is red you know the cleats usually be like all red or something like that you know just just figure it out but once you do plug in your values you're going to want to go all the way to the right here all the way to the end until you run into UDBC. If it's not already one, change it to one. If it is at one, leave it alone. Uh, this tells the um, system to find to prioritize your uh, team's uh, custom colors. If you left it at zero, it would use the in-game color codes it already has, which would be far off from your team. Um, not only that, but um, the interface is going to look different. Like I said, these are going to be spread out, and you'll have to find them. They're not too far from each other, but they're not as simple as this. If you would like my um, co uh, roster config, um, let me know. Actually, I got this from my boy Tucker. But uh, just hit me up on Discord or something or comments, and I can shoot it your way because it's a lot more organized to you know, and easier to change your colors. So, yeah, that's that. Um, if need be, you can change your team and make them like fresh from scratch you know what i mean you can make a piss poor 60 something overall or you can make them a 99 just by typing in this stuff um that's for that's like the team standing stuff that doesn't mean your team could be that good but um yeah you can change a lot in here from depth charts coaches coach skills you know look around in here play with it um but i would create a backup for you know what i mean doing anything i would create a backup before doing something you don't you know understand one more thing you don't want to forget that uh shit i mean i don't want to forget <laughs> to tell y'all that is it in team it's players in players this is where you can change your cleats uh from like if it's the off brand then you switch it to nike which not supposed to be nike switch to under armor adidas jordan yada yada um so i'm gonna go over to the right here i'm not even gonna go to my team but what you can do is filter it. Uh, 
you can see you can change the helmets here and all that um, sleeves jersey sleeves yada 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 um, so what you can do click filter add double tap that hit team ID go to value and then you will find either the name you already changed it to if you saved it a bit already so like you should see Sony pops up right there um, if you didn't save it and exit out and all the other stuff um, it's still probably going to be the previous team name before you changed it so just pay attention like I said it always takes you to be careful that's all so I'm on my team now and you can change everything from the sleeves you know pads just all the accessories but um, you can make it so they all wear the correct team brand and I didn't bother doing it so they're, they're going to be wearing Under Armour uh, shoes in the game but everything else is Nike so uh, yeah um, that is it but yeah so after you're done doing what you're doing you can click file and click save I already got mine situated so I don't have to click it but click save and once you do you are going to go into your back into your roster folder and you're gonna just rename that dot uh, mc02 back to his normal stuff yes all right and so I'm just gonna move mine back to what I was doing I don't think I you know I don't even remember none of this <laughs> X X just cause I'm gonna remove mine that's the one I did customize and we're gonna work from there alright y'all uh, and that should be it to, to be honest uh, I'm gonna boot up the game and I'm gonna show y'all all the changes uh, and I hope everything went well for y'all if it didn't just backtrack you know what I mean uh, trace your steps like I said make backups it's a trial and error thing I don't expect you to get it right 100% of the time uh, so don't get frustrated you know keep your head up and uh, happy modding all right